click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the previous topic we have discussed about the electronic configuration of actinium and 5F series elements. And now in this topic we are going to talk about the oxidation states of the actinoids. So what are those oxidation states? Let me talk about that in this topic. So talking about the oxidation state of the actinoids, it has been found that is they all have a common oxidation state of plus 3. But there are also certain elements which have variable oxidation state ranging from plus 2 to plus 7. So based on that, I have a particular diagram so that I could make you understand that is what are the variable oxidation states of those elements or we could say that is for 5F series elements. So now let us understand this one. So friends, this is a table where we can understand that is starting from the actinium to the laurentium, every element has a common oxidation state of plus 3. But there are also certain elements which have variable oxidation state that is ranging from plus 2 to plus 7. So in that case we have got to know that is for actinium it ranges from that is plus 2 to plus 4 and having plus 3 as a common oxidation state which is applicable for every element that has been present in the actinoid. And talking about the next one that is for thorium it has a variable oxidation state ranging from plus 2 to plus 5. So talking about protactinium so it ranges from plus 3 to plus 5. For uranium it is from plus 3 to plus 6 for neptunium it is from plus 3 to plus 7 for plutonium it is from plus 3 to plus 7 again and for americium it is from plus 2 to plus 6 for that is curium it is from plus 3 to plus 4 for mercalium it is plus 3 and plus 4 and later on we could find that is they have very stable compounds and they are basically having plus 3 oxidation state so in that case we could say that is the plus 3 oxidation state it is very much stable if we go or if we move from thorium to laurentium so across this period or across this elements if we go then this are the members which are basically having more stability towards the plus 3 oxidation state so talking about the other informations that is actinoids they are very much stable in their plus 3 oxidation state as well as they have also exist in the form of plus 4 oxidation state and these elements can easily undergo through hydrolysis and that's it so this is what i want to talk about and and thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have understood this video very clearly and i hope i'll see you next time till then don't forget to subscribe ikra channel thank you so much